Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series, the Moon Rides Beach series, and the New Heartbreaker series. So I'm back to do my memory spread for the week. We are planning April 8th to the 14th and I'm going to be using the Spring Flowers collection. This is from my shop. So I have here the deco that I want to use. I really love this girl in the center. I think she looks so cute. Um, and then here is the full kit. So I've added these overlays from Rose Colored Days to my full boxes. And then I've already added my date numbers as well. So I'm just gonna briefly show you the kit. Um, again, this is available in my shop. You guys can purchase it using the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. I just love all the kind of pastel tones and I really like the combination of these two green colors. I think they actually look really, really good together. So I am excited about using this. Um, the pen actually that I'm using is from Simply Gilded and I just thought that it matched like perfectly with the colors of this kit. So. I'm gonna be using it this week. Um, and then this is how last week turned out. And I just think it turned out so cute. I love this bottom washi here. So we're gonna be using the inserts from my shop. These are printables. So if you're interested in memory planning and an A5 wide, you guys can find those in the shop. So this week, um, I had a pretty busy week for the shop. We had um, two big releases, one on Monday for the Hello Spring collection, um, and then we also had the tote bag restock this week, which was a massive success. So thanks so much for selling us out again. Um, I brought actually two new spring colors to the shop. Um, it was like a light green color. So similar to like this color right here, um, and then I also brought in the beige. So with those two colors, I also restocked the pink, which is obviously the best seller. Also the coffee color and all those sold out this week. So I'm really excited for you guys to get all of your tote bags. Um, if you guys want them done in other colors, um, do let me know. I am trying to look into some fall colors that um, I want to do them in so yeah if there is a colorway that you are thinking about for fall or you want a restock of any of the other colors like the spring colors that I just brought um, let me know and I can definitely do that. So I finally got him back into my reading habit of um, reading at least one or two books a week. So I'm really excited about that. One of my goals is to read over a hundred books this year. Last year I did a pretty poor job of only reading 50 books, which is my lowest like ever. Um, but since starting my reading journal, I feel like um, it has motivated me to read more. And so instead of scrolling Instagram or watching YouTube videos, in the evenings I've been reading and that has been really, really helpful in boosting up my numbers. So um, I'm hoping that for every um, week I can read at least two to three books so that I can reach my goal. Um, I kind of slacked in the beginning of the year so I do have a number of books to read in order to catch up but I'm hoping that I can do it because I've been really enjoying um, journaling in my reading journal this week. You'll see that I will mark it down a couple of times because I've been doing that um, in the evening time as I do my evening planner routine and updating my planners um, at night. I've been also journaling a lot. so. Um, I have my A5 reading journal that I've been enjoying and then also I have started to journal at the back of my Hobonichi Weeks planner. My Hobonichi Weeks planner is actually sitting right in front of me right now. I use it a lot as my YouTube uh, planner so anything that I do for this channel gets marked in there. But I found that I wasn't using the notes pages 
that much and because I stopped using my Hobonichi Cousin for my journaling, um, it was just getting too um, overwhelming for me to fill in the A5 page. Um, I've just been journaling at the back of the Hobonichi Weeks instead and um, I do really like the smaller size. I feel like it's more manageable for me to keep up with and yeah it's been working really well for me so far so i'm gonna think about getting the uh, mega for next year um, because this year i only have the regular week so um, if i do continue to journal in it i think i may run out of room pretty quickly so it might be wiser for me to get the mega which has the extra pages for next year if I want to continue journaling in this size. I just feel like the week size is such a cozy feeling size. I don't know. It's just, I just really like the cover that I'm in. I'm using my um, Julia Opunto Slim in the navy and yeah, I just love that leather. It feels so soft, supple. So I've really been enjoying it. Okay, so I put down all my boxes as I've been talking and I'm just gonna add two checklists here because I did read like I mentioned. So um, we're adding the headers in and my checklist. For the focus of the week, I am gonna mark in that we had the tote bag restock because that was the main event. So I'm also gonna add these headers from the kit on top of the boxes. Sometimes I forget to do these on some weeks and I kick myself when I'm editing the video because I notice it only then. So I'm getting back into the habit of adding these on because I think the spread looks better with it. But let me know if you guys like the headers or do you skip out on them? I like to have them at least on the top there. Okay, so let's grab these fancy boxes. I'm gonna add one here and then one here. And let's see, from the deco, I wanna use this guy. Follow that dream here. And then maybe this, we'll put that up here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my April script. Let's pop this down. This is also from my shop. And then in here, I think I'm just gonna write that we had our tote bag restock. So this week I designed a really, really cute strawberry themed collection called Strawberry Patch and you guys, it's so cute. Like really, really, really cute. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, if you like greens and pinks, I think you'll really like it. Can't wait to use that in a spread. I also designed some more reading challenges for my reading journal. I've been making those stickers and I've been really, really liking it. It's so fun. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna add one of the florals from the deco here, just at the bottom. Okay, and then at the bottom here, um, I read Winter Loss by Patricia Briggs, which was really good. It's part of her Mer Mercy Thompson book. And then um, my five-star read of this week was The Phantom by Gina Showalter. I love that book. It was so good love the hero in it okay i'm gonna put this girl down here because i love her i wonder if i can put her like that because she's reading with her book there okay so that is everything for the sidebar let's jump into monday now okay so monday i'm gonna mark in editing first because i did not have any events scheduled for this day using this coffee cup. This is from the Sweets Planner. Um, and then after that, I did have to do some printing and cutting. I'm gonna use a scallop box for that. Look how sweet all these colors look together. 
So for printing and cutting, I'm going to use a script sticker from my shop, and this character sticker is from Teddy's Plans Co. Um, and then I also filmed a little. So for filming, I have a little film script here. And I'm going to grab maybe one of my Paper Echoes girls right there. Um, I did also read this day. So let's mark that in. This script is from my shop again. And this is also from my shop, the stack of books. That's from the Bow Icon collection. Um, I'm going to mark in that I received some Happy Mail from Ferris Wheel Press. They sent me um, some new inks and also a new fountain pen. So let me use one of these stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co to mark that in. The colors that I got this month were so pretty. It's like a pink, pale pink pen and ink. And then also um, it's kind of like a periwinkle color. I actually have them right here. Like they look so pretty. I can't wait to use that. And then here's the pen. It's like a light pink color. So I'm excited. I can't wait to use that. All right, and then at the bottom here, I'm going to mark in that we had a new release. So for this new release, I am using um, that bow icon that's from my shop. So that is everything for Monday. On to Tuesday, no events, but I am going to mark in that I had to edit the video and I had to do a lot of printing and cutting this day. So let's see, I will use a little bit of pink. So for editing, I have a bow icon from my shop. Printing and cutting, I'm gonna use the same combo of stickers from Teddy's Plans Co. and my shop. And then also for designing, I'm gonna add it actually at the bottom because this sticker here is a bit large. So we'll put her there and just write in design. Since we actually had a sunny day, I'm also going to mark in that I was outside sunbathing. So I'm going to use this sunny sticker that is from Lovely Mine. I miss the shop. I don't know if they're still open anymore. Um, sunbathing. Okay. And then after that, um, I did read again, but I don't think I have space to mark it. So what I'm going to do is just skip out on that. I'm just going to mark in that I uploaded my April monthly instead. So we'll just use the sticker here. That's from my shop. So there we go. That is everything for Tuesday. Now let's move on to Wednesday. So Wednesday, I'm going to mark in that I had my um, website renewal this day. So let's put that in a box to make it kind of stand out. So I'm going to use this sticker from Paper Echoes to mark that in. Lots of orders had come in this day, so I needed to pack them up so that I could send them out right away. So I'm going to mark in post office right after that. So for packing up orders, I'm going to use this sticker from my shop. This post run sticker is from Van Sticky and the character is from Paper Echoes again. Okay, so I need to also mark in that I did some filming. Oh, this day was really busy for me now that I remember it. Um, I did a lot of things this day. So I filmed and then I also planted um, vegetables and flowers in my garden. So let's see, what can I use to mark all that? I'm just going to put the boxes down so I can kind of think about this for a second. Because I don't want it to be too crowded. Okay, so after that, let's mark in filming first. I'm going to use the same girl. So for gardening, I'm going to use this sticker. This is from Stick With Me Shop, I believe it's called. I do have gardening stickers, but I didn't pull it. Actually, let me check if I have some at the back here. Oh, I do. Okay, so I'm going to use that instead, even though I wrote it. I think look, this looks cuter. So gardening, um, I planted a lot of flowers this day, dahlias, um, zinnias, I 
planted so many vegetables like broccoli, lettuce, tomatoes, like everything. So those have actually started to sprout, which I'm really happy about. So after gardening, I'm just going to mark in that I had to do some more designing. So I'm going to use this sticker. This is from my shop. I want to add some florals here because I have them. So I might as well use them. Let's see. In here. Okay, so that is everything for the first half of the week. Let's move on to the second half. So no events for Thursday. Um, but I did start the day by cleaning. So I had laundry to do. And then I also uh, cleaned the bathroom. So I cleaned the showers. So for that, I'm going to use this cute sticker from Paper K. And then for cleaning the bathroom, I'm going to use this from Paper Bits Co. I did not look that happy while cleaning the bathroom, but I think she's adorable. Alright, so let's also mark in that I edited my video. I'm going to use this headphone sticker for that. And then I also designed again. Did a lot of designing. Can I fit two more in here? I want to fit in also that I watched a TV show and I did my unboxing. So let's see. I'm going to put this down first and then this one. Designing, I have this really cute table from Hello Petite Paper to mark that in. I think the colors match this spread just perfectly. Um, for my TV show, I am using this sticker that I made. And then also for my BDS Parm unboxing, um, I think I will just use this little cell phone from stationary heaven co i believe they changed their name so i'm not sure what the new name is that is everything for thursday okay so now let's move on to friday again no events let's mark in that i had to pack up orders and finish up my designing so for packing up orders i'm going to use another box sticker um, and then we'll do this coffee cup from my shop to mark in designing. And then I did update my reading journal, so I'll use the sticker from Paper K. So I want to mark in that um, I did some printing and cutting. I also got a call from my doctor because last week I did some blood work, so he wanted to let me know the results, and thankfully everything is okay. Um, I have all the proper amounts of vitamins and all that kind of stuff, so that is really reassuring. It just kind of eases my anxiety a bit. So I'm going to be using this telephone sticker from um, a shop that's no longer open. And then I'm also marking in our tote bag release. I'm going to be using this bag from Paper Shire to mark in that. I've been having lots of anxiety due to my health problems that I've been having for the past few months. So having this phone call just really eased it, um, knowing that I don't have any huge issues just made me feel a lot better. Okay, so Saturday, no events. I'm gonna mark in packing up orders and I think I'm gonna add some of the florals here. Should I flip it? I think I'll put it this way. Okay, so for packing up the tote bags, we'll use the same sticker from Paper Echoes. This takes a while because there was a lot of orders to get through. After that, um, I did some designing and then I had to cook dinner. So I'm gonna use this boba sticker for that. And then for cooking, I'm using this sticker. I also did some printing and cutting too. So let's mark that in at the end of the day. So there we go. 
Okay, so Sunday is the only day where I actually had an event. Um, I had a renewal, so I'm gonna mark that in first for this week. So I'm gonna use this book sticker from Winterfield Studios. I also did some filming, filmed a plan with me video. So we'll use another Paper Echo sticker and a film script from my shop. Um, I'm gonna also mark in the show that I have been binge watching this week. I started it and I am in love with it. I think it's just so fun. It's kind of like a camping theme um, show. So I don't know what I can use to mark that with. Since I can't find anything, I think I will just use this girl here to mark it in. Um, and then I'm gonna mark in the other show that I watched, let's see. So for my other show, I will use the same sticker. And then I uploaded my Plan With Me video. So I'm gonna mark that in with another sticker from Paper Echoes and a little Plan With Me Live sticker from my shop. So I think that is it. I'm just gonna dot these remaining stickers here and there. And I think that's our finished spread. So here's my spread back in my planner. I love the colors. I think it turned out so beautiful, especially with the gold foiling that I paired it with. I am just really excited for spring. Can't wait to garden some more. Um, I hope that the plants that I did plant this week continue to grow really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you guys can see, it's pretty bright now. And so I'm gonna head outside and get some sunshine and fresh air. Um, it's been raining all week. And so I'm excited to finally have some good weather. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you guys are interested in this kit, the spring flowers kit, you guys can find it in my shop now. Don't forget to use the code save 10 to save 10% off. I'm heading out now and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.